Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dongfang Wang. Today I'm going to do a short lecture on gene structure. We talk about genes all the time, so what exactly is a gene? The gene is the molecular unit of heredity. There are 20 to 25,000 genes in the human genome, and they're all arranged in a linear fashion on the chromosomal DNA. Most of the genes encode protein product. There are of course some exceptions, such as the tRNA, transfer RNA, is encoded by genes as well. In this slide, we're looking at the gene structure in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The major difference is that in prokaryotes, genes are arranged as classes, while in eukaryotes, they're arranged as discrete unit. In prokaryotes, transcription produces a single messenger RNA molecule called the polycystronic messenger RNA that encodes two or more proteins, while in eukaryotes, the product of transcription and processing is the mature messenger RNA that usually encodes for a single protein. The coding sequence, or the CDS, is the region of the gene that's transcribed and translated to produce the protein. But a gene is more than just the coding sequence. If we look at the gene in eukaryotes, the region of the gene that ends up in the mature messenger RNA after RNA processing is called the exon. And the region of the gene that's removed during RNA processing is called the intron. Let's look at the mature messenger RNA. Not the whole messenger RNA is translated. The translation starts here, that's where the methionine is, and this is where the stop codon is. The region of the messenger RNA that's not translated is called the untranslated region. The upstream region is called the 5' UTR, and the downstream region downstream to the coding sequence is called the 3' UTR. In addition to the sequence we just talked about, there are also regulatory sequences usually located upstream of the transcription initiation site. The regulatory sequence determines whether a gene is transcribed or not, and we're going to discuss this further in later lectures.